What's up? What's up? Jay Deal's in the house. It says Merry Christmas for Leroy from my team. <laughs> uh, what straight and never comes back a Polish boomerang. Hey, Rosilla, good to see you. <laughs> LaDonna, good to see you. Mystery Diva, good to see you. Diane Matthews in the house, good to see you as well. Buck Mountain in the house. Hey, Buck Mountain, I did get your uh, message, but it was late last night, so I did not get back with you. But if you need help this morning, I'll be happy to do so. Vintage sports flips in the building. Absolute finds in the building. Good to see you guys. All right, I know it's early, but I got stuff to do, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and dive into this uh, Carolina. Jumping, jumping to it. Bag number one. <laughs> so yesterday, um, I uh, saw on Facebook someone had all this Carolina Hurricane memorabilia for forty dollars. So this is bag number one. How many bags is there? This is bag number two. And this is bag number three. So should we go what feels like clothing first? Yeah, let's get the clothing out of the way. All right. Hey, Jimmy, good to see you. Christine Harden in the building. Sensible Treasures in the building. Yeah, Buck Mountain, I'll call you uh, when this show. 540, good to see you, Brandon. Chris, I have so many hats from the bins to restore. There you go. All right. First up, just standard Carolina Hurricanes bumper sticker, something along those lines. Now, check this out. This is where it starts to get a little interesting. I'm assuming this is a goalie pad, maybe. Mm -hmm. But what about all that? Mm. So the interesting thing is, when is this Carolina Hurricane stuff? Because obviously they've had some good teams over the few years. She said it's been in storage for a few years. Mm. So... I don't know. Who knows? All right. So then we got a little, whoa, what is this doing in here? Mm, hey. Detroit Red Wings having a little starter to start it out. There we go. Yeah, the Carolina Hurricanes. Think it's game used? I'm not sure. I mean, it's got some uh, distress on it. It's definitely got some distress on it. And the gloves do, too. Uh. So it could be a little something-something. Of course, we got the... Uh, little the little, the little, the the little the flags that go out the... the yeah. So if these are 2006, I don't know. Little clues, little clues here and there. A little, little Santa hurricane. Any numbers written inside, like a player number? Um, I'm checking the size. So I figure if my hand can fit in it. Yeah. My hand fits in it. I mean, it's a little small, but hey. Number 22 is on here. Um, 
Can't really make out. Maybe a number eight. There's this in the corner, 785, but I don't know. There's number 22. Oh, Tim hadn't figured out how to use StreamYard. <laughs> What's in the link? He must be on the road. Well, number 22 in 2006 for that Stanley Cup was Mike Commodore, a defenseman. Mike Commodore. Well, all these guys look like Docker scripts. So. Yeah. Could be one of those things. All right. I think Leroy's in the house. Hey. All right, 540. I'll send you one. What's up, Sonar? What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. All right, Brandon. Hey, did you guys see Tim Tim needs the link? It's already I sent him the link. I sent him the link. You didn't send him the link, Leroy? Okay, I came late. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You didn't send him the link, Leroy? Yeah, I'll send him the link. Yeah. yeah. A little terrible towels. There we go. Leroy, it's not the Steelers. No. I know. I looked up right away. My first reaction thought was, who actually made the original Terrible Towel? The guy who couldn't get to the restroom in time. <laughs> yeah, yellow. All right, here's one from 2002 hat. 2002 Eastern Conference champions. <laughs> nice little uh, bucket. Carolina Hurricane. Yeah, I have a feeling there's going to be a pretty wide array of mixture. Now, this one's pretty nice, but... Red Wings 1998 champions. I've had that hat before. Yeah, Lego 7. Yeah. Tim's on the red. Oh, here we go. Let's... Oh, the blue. Yeah, so it's got a little Stanley Cup back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they love the towels, I can tell you that. There you go, 540 flips. Myron Coke and then the tarot towel and the official towels should have his name on them. Myron Coke. Hey, in Carolina, buddy, you can't get away from Farm Bureau. I'm just telling you. you uh, bro, I know, right? You you can't can't get get away from 2002. They must have loved the towels, that's for sure. I'm sure it was the giveaway stuff going on. Yeah, the SGA stuff. Yeah. Everyone in the building, let's see them towels. Yeah, 2002. There's several of those. All right. I, I heard them so much. Whoa. Little goodie bag action. What do they got in here? Oh, nice. Whoa. Whoa, what do we have here? Good morning, Tim. A little koozie. 
Look at this guy. I'm not sure what that is. Marker? That's not, that's your autograph pen, bro. Hey, See, hey. You, you hang that around your neck when you want to get some autograph. Ooh, we got is that a puck? Autograph puck? I don't know what the heck that is. Look at that. What is that? It's a I know what that is. You stack it's them on magnet. top of each other. It's a magnet. And you yeah, stack them a, on top of each other. It's a, a little, magnet. Yeah. It's a magnet. Yeah. yeah, it's in the cool. it's, a, it's like a desk trink. When you if you list that, it's like a desk trinket. These are patches. There we yep. go. Spoonless. A magnet still in the. This is some kind of flag with a bunch of pins, pin backs attached to it. Kind of interesting. Then we got some coin purses. Goalkeeper coin purses. That's interesting. Another magnet. A mom button. These are like exclusive pin. Thank you for being an all star fan. The schedule magnet. What what schedule is that from? Two thousand six or two thousand two? Two thousand five six. Two thousand six. Oh, look We got some trading cards. Jeff, Jeff O'Neill. David. Good morning, sir. Tanaby. Tanaby. Yeah, another David Tannaby. Another David Tannaby. They must have liked some Tannaby. Joni, yeah. Pick your name, Joni. Yeah, all for 40 bucks, everything I've showed thus far, and the two other bags. That I'm only halfway through the first bag, guys. So then we have sealed flags. This is super cool. Not sure what it is, but it's cool. Then we got the Stanley Cup DVD in case you need to reload the story. Another 2006 sticker. All right, halfway through is the first bag. What I'm hoping for is a hockey jersey. That'd be cool. But yeah, man, come on. We need a hockey jersey. How about 2002 champs? What are we on? Oh, Lee Sport. What? Lee Sport tag on the 2002. I think they opted for towels instead of jerseys. Like, right. I got craps on a tower. Yeah, towel, 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 this, towel. This is like all their like they, they went they probably went to a bunch of games. You yeah, know stack saying? of towels. <sighs> There's still more in here though. We got the Chevy. The SGA. We got whoa, what is this? This is from rate some radio station, Carolina Hurricanes. 850 the buzz that's probably their official radio station right the lord of the towels <laughs> oh man look at that you get a towel you get a towel you get a towel uh-oh uh-oh there's some stuff in the bottom first i'll show you the miners the vertical hanging flag. How about this? There we go. Those are some puck action. All puck. Yeah, 
Here's a sealed one from PNC Arena versus the Blues. Inaugural game March 15, 2012 at PNC Arena. There's two of those. Who this has a fan that is squeaking? Hey. I do. You can hear that all the way? You can hear oh, that? Yeah. Oh, my God. It is. It's driving me crazy. But then I'm like, I'm in a car. So all I hear is my, my bucket bouncing. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's I an older hear it. one. It's like, it sounds like crickets <laughs> on a, swinging on a door that needs WD-40. So whoever yes. number nine is, I'm not sure. Nine, huh? There's no year. It like a cricket that got lost in the woods. <laughs> this is just like a little kid, like street hockey puck, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's just as bad as what you put us through with Tim's fire alarm. Hey, you're doing it wrong. Oh. Here's another puck. Official practice puck. Whoa. Here's your playoff collector item from 06. The Eastern Conference. All right, so those pucks. So that's bag one. So maybe this one is actually worth something. That'd be cool. Number is that nine or four? Um, I don't know. What do you think? Might be four. Four, yeah. Yeah. Williams. Maybe it's an A or something. Or something. Who knows? the chat can we can uh, any identity guys Aaron Ward Aaron Ward scrub I don't know. that I might be, yeah it looks like AW for sure yeah Aaron Ward number four yeah 2006 all right, here's the second bag. The second bag. We got little mini Stanley Cups. Hey, look at that. 2005-2006. We have bobbles. There we go. Brazil is saying that that was their number one goalie. Oh, nice. <coughs> Cam Ward. Oh, I wonder if they have all four of those. Apparently, that's <coughs> a... Eric Stahl. I don't know any of these guys. Eric Stahl, he was good. Chad LaRose. Leroy Blood. There's yeah, another, I see Leroy. There's another Eric Stahl. Another Stanley Cup. You get a Stanley Cup. You get a Stanley Cup. Six. 
Scott Walker, Texas Rangers son. Brandon Suter. Yeah, yeah. Do you have like the whole set? Because there's like three or four. Yeah, there, this guy, three or four, four or four. And I wonder if you get a lot of up. You know what I'm saying? Like they get a lot of one of four. So maybe. Do we have, do we have two of four? Uh, you got to find it. Uh, I think so. Now I got another Brandon Sutter. Let me see. They must have missed out on the two of four night. Maybe I got it. Maybe another cam board four or four. <laughs> right, doing it wrong says. We're talking about the Stanley Cup again instead of Stanley Cups. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then I got a bobble that's without another Scott Walker. He's giving you a little chin action. Right? Chin up. All right, bag number two. So that was all bag number one. That's no, that was uh, that's done with bag number two. Oh, okay. When I when I die, you guys will have that's you'll have about eight of those totes of steel stuff. Same same stuff. Whoa. Oh, These are all cards. One of them's autographed. Pilot set. Good morning. Huh. Yeah. And I was only kidding, Lissette. If I say I'm going to die, Lissette, Lissette would kick my butt. Rod Brendamore. Not sure about Rod. All these are frame stuff, so I'm not sure. Just photographs. There might be some autos in there. These guys. 2002 Southeast Champions. 2002. 2002. There's a pack of cards. Sealed. I'm not sure what they are. Oh, upper deck. They're upper deck. You see them down like 2000s. Right here. Brandon Suter. It oh, it's not like a sealed pack? Yeah, it's just a sealed little cellophane pack. Oh, so you, it's, all, it's not like a closed pack. Yeah, it's like, uh, I guess, from the team store. Uh, like okay. at the stadium. It's like their whole, uh, oh, Lissette. New channel member, Lissette. Appreciate you. Yeah, all these are just pictures of these guys. Yeah, it looks like a team set is what Brandon says. Mm -hmm. And then we got just loose photos, like the whole crew of them, it looks like. Stacko. These all have uh, on the back... These are like from the Stanley Cup Finals, like scorecard stuff on the back. Okay, yeah. Apparently, that's what all these photos in the frames are. And then we 
we got a little uh, insert from the News and Observer. 2004 Stanley Cup champions. 2006 Stanley Cup champions. That's cool. More of those team photos. All right, so that's it. 40 bucks, guys. Is it my turn? I don't know, is it? Yeah. Mine's not as exciting as Eric's, guys. You guys are, are you not gonna, are you gonna share with us what you got to eat today? Is that what you're doing? No, I don't have any <laughs> I already ate. I ate it. That's why I was late. <laughs> I already ate, so that's not good. This set says, are we in Tim's pocket? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's pocket cam, is it? Yes. Okay. You're not going to know any of this stuff, guys. So just warning you. I went to the flea market the other day, and I, I uh, was selling. And uh, I, I had it was a different flea market, so I brought um I brought like a hundred dollars in change. I didn't bring change. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bring a hundred dollars in change. Well, by the time it was time to sell, I didn't have any change because I spent all my money on one booth. <laughs> I've been into a lot of safety stuff. I don't know how I'm getting it, but I'm getting it. So these these are anchors. For like safety harness and stuff, they're very expensive um, when they're new. Um, then this is a gauge for welding, a welding gauge. If I can get it, it's like a, it's like a something for welding, like a gauge for welding. Um, that's this, and they go for like fifteen bucks, and I have like twenty of them. Um, nice. these, these go for about. 40 bucks and I have six of them. Um, these go for about 80 bucks and I have six of them. Jeez. Um, these, these, these little uh, tips, they go for about six, about six, six to ten dollars a pack. I have about 80 packs. And then these are spools of wire, and they go for I have uh, nine of them, and they go for about fifteen dollars. Um, and then I have where's the cables? I got, I have more stuff. Oh, here they are. Here they are. So these are leads for certain welding, and these go for about sixty dollars a piece, and I have four of them. And that was all just from that one. Um, from that one person, and it was I like I said, I spent like 80 bucks off of that one guy, so that was my little score. And a lot, of, I probably only have like 10 different items, so it would be a nice list. Yeah, that's nice when you have the multi quantity listings. Yes. yes, yes, it is. But you know, you have to know how to play them too. So, those little packages that I said that I have 80 of those things, some of them vary a little bit, some, some of them are the same. I'll take them out of the packages and sell 10 of them instead of just the four. I'll do a package, a, a couple, I'll do a listing of orig original four in the package. I'll do a listing with two of them original in the package. Then I'll take a bunch of them out of the package and do 10 loose ones. Like you got to play with these listings. Don't just sit there and put 80 listings in one listing. You're dumb if you do that. I mean, that's just my own personal opinion. If you guys are going to get something where you have a bunch of it, make five listings of that one listing, but different listings, change the background color, change the wording. Um, minimize the wording. Just put welding tip. We're going to think you're a dummy. They're going to be like, oh my God, this guy's a dummy. He doesn't know what he's doing. And they're going to they're gonna look into it more because you didn't give them all the information. You just put welding tip replacement. Done. I know they say fill all the characters, but I believe Cernak will agree with me. There are certain 
there are certain um, areas where l less is better. See, Leroy, you just caught everybody dumb. So what you said. <laughs> I did. And then, and then, and then I expected Sonak to, to respond. <laughs> Leroy's like, <laughs> Sir, I said that. I'm not calling everybody dumb. <laughs> no, nah, it is very true. Very true. What Lira said is put some variation in your listings. And I, you know what I do? I do the same, Leroy. And then whatever listing starts selling, I move things more to that listing. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do. I, I had I had the hammer handle. I only got a few left. I had these rubber hammer handles. And nobody had them, and I I had like 80 of them, and I did like four different listens. I would put axe handle rubber. That's it, and those were selling better than the hammer ha ha hammer handle, the rubber hammer handle and replacement, USA, the ones that just said axe handle replacement. Those sold better, and it was the same thing. Hmm. So you, you just, you got to move that stuff around. Yeah, you're right, um, our, um, Justin. I believe that's Justin. Hey, Ping G, good to see you. You suck, Brandon. Okay, you suck. All right, go kick rocks. All right, can't stand you. All right, go somewhere with that. I'm leaving. <laughs> mm. I lost another friendship. <laughs> Justin said it was Bali that time, but I'm off today, so I'll be around. <laughs> Two weeks to go, Justin. I want my peanut butter and jelly sandwich from somebody. I don't care who it is. Joe Deals is in the building. Joe actually left you a comment from the beginning. At the very beginning, if you roll all the way up, Leroy, he's got one for you. Oh boy. Is he is it am I gonna am I gonna yell at him too this morning? No, no. I mean he's talking about how his his team was gifting your team some folks. Right? Yes. Presents for Leroy and his team. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen, I really don't want to talk football, but um, there was a. I had a really emotional week in football because, in my eyes, the only thing I saw was okay. We signed Russell Wilson. That's amazing. Okay, it they're not going to. If you know, sports, they are not going to sign this clown for whatever they he's going to want next year. Okay, so. They're gonna build this guy up. If he wins, if he gets to the third, if he gets to the third game in the playoffs, then he might get what he wants. There's no way Pittsburgh's gonna pay him what he, what he's worth. Okay, they didn't pay Ben what he was worth. So when I saw that, and I was like, okay, cool, that's somebody for Pickens and all these other guys to fall off of. Then everybody else is gone. Now everybody left. This, this guy had a hurt butthole. This guy got traded. This guy went back to Santa Claus and his reindeer. So I was like, what the heck? I was like, do you realize that Aaron Rodgers went to the Jets or wherever the heck he went and he 
and he flopped his first or second game. That's all that came in my head. So then when they got Justin Fields, I don't really know. The kid, I've heard his name. I've seen replays of him. I was happier. So I feel better. But I, it, to me, it's just like, okay. Yeah, you know, just the game. Like, I love all this stuff. And this is what Tim lives off of, is talking sports. But I'm just, I just want to watch the game. And I just want him to play. I do have a question regarding sports. Is anybody doing some kind of a um, racket? Because I really want to do it. So if anybody's doing some kind of bracket that's affordable, a bracket. I said I'll do a bracket. I don't want to do the stupid. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a bracket. I think Tim said he uh, is gonna have it all set up already. Okay, because we don't have much time. A bracket. We got a bracket. Till Thursday, right? We have until Thursday. Dude, it's today. The games are today. The play-in games are today. But okay. it doesn't. I don't think you. I. You, you, you can don't set up to, a bracket without the play-in game. Yeah, right? yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, you okay. usually don't have to pick the, okay. the games. Okay. All right. Well, I, I feel better now. Okay. I so think I'm so. Done. I think there's uh, a 15. deadline. I mean, I think I think the deadline is extended to the play-in games, like. But. Brandon, Brandon, will jump in somewhere. He usually knows all that stuff. I will tell you what, man. I stayed up and watched the NC State Carolina game, bro. That was a tough game. What about the the uh, offensive lineman playing center for uh, North Carolina State, dude? That dude is massive. Is that that big that big kid on uh, North Carolina State, right? Yeah, yeah. He's huge. Dude, he's massive. And, and he's like, he's nimble, man. For a big dude, he is nimble, man. Mm-hmm. He made some moves against Baycott. I was like, name no way. Dude. Yeah. Like, how did yeah. you do that? Hey, I tried to bet on that game. I told everybody these those kids were playing five, six days in a row. I they knew won, they won five days in a row. Five yeah. games in a row. And I knew beat Duke and Carolina back to back. So yeah. I knew teams. I knew teams. The better teams. I give them props, even though, like, obviously, I'm a Carolina guy, and you know, it was one of those things. But I was like, hey, they played good. Carolina came out. Why didn't you bet me? Why didn't you bet me? First of all, you're not a betting man. I know that, but you should have still verbally bet me. Yeah, I mean, like for me, for me with Carolina is always like I have this weird thought about ACC tournament. Honestly, sometimes Carolina does better if they get beat in the ACC tournament. They, it actually kind of gives them a little fire for those first games because I've watched Carolina play low seeds and struggle. Like, because they come out like, oh, we just won ACC tournament. Like, we just did this. And then they come out and get plastered in, like, the second round. Yeah. So, yeah. And you could tell it wasn't the setup. Like they they tried, yeah. they fu- but no, dude, like- they kept throw it in the ocean, man, for a while. Like I was like, these guys, normally guys that are scoring for Carolina, were just like, right. I thought North Carolina was gonna come back because they were back, and I thought they were gonna. Dude, score. R.J. Davis is a beast, though. He is a beast. <laughs> like he had like three step back threes in people's eye, like just. Boom, stop, pull. Like, uh, I was like, yeah, but they just hadn't, didn't have enough offense, man. Like, plus, you, that big guy was eating them up, dude. Like, they couldn't stop him. And then when they did stop him, he'd just pass it off to somebody for a wide open three. So. Mini skirt. Somebody's mini skirt. What? <laughs> I was listening to this country song and I can't get it off my phone. <laughs> Leroy. That sounded like electro miniskirt. Ah! That didn't sound like country music. That sounded like electro. Tim's going black screen.
Hey, Lilac Seller. Good to see you. But wait, are we going to set up a uh, RIN bracket pool? We were just asking about, isn't the play-in games today? Yeah, but the play-in games don't matter for the bracket. That's what I thought. Brackets don't have to be filled out until Thursday, I think. So, like, if we get something put together, we can just announce it on a... Yeah, we'll, we'll set it up. Uh, I'll set it up today. And then we'll uh, we'll put it out on YouTube community. We'll put it out on our Instagram. We'll put it out okay. on Facebook page, all that stuff. You do something cheap, like five bucks. Yeah, something cheap. Five dollar bracket. We can put it on one stop shop. Yeah, we'll put it on one stop shop. We'll put it everywhere. Something's good. Sounded like Molly Cyrus on speed. <laughs> uh, they're asking about Beyonce's country song. What? No, it wasn't Beyonce. It was uh, it was another black girl, but it wasn't Beyonce. Yes, yes, you can. That's who wins them all. Sixteen based on uniform design. Yes. Some people say which mascot would win in a fight. I'm going with the Steelers guy. I gotta make a phone call. Hold on. The Steelers guys? Hmm. Who else would I go for? I honestly have not watched a ton this year. I've watched two complete Carolina games and bits and pieces of a few others, but the thing that's so different in the tournament over the past few years is so many teams are more even than what they've been in the past because now like you don't necessarily have to go to the big school to go to the NBA. Well, yeah, that and, you know. And the transfer in, porter, portals. Back, mostly. back in the day, you know, people would stay in school longer, even in the, the, the big schools, you know, the, the Blue Bloods. They would stay longer. But, like, some of these smaller school teams, the, the, the players have been playing together for four years, three years. So, yeah. you know, th as a team, they're a lot more uniform. The tournament's all about matchups. Like sometimes, like if you get a team that like doesn't defend really well, and they're going up against a school that's like a smaller school, but they're like one of the best shooting percentage schools in the country. You know, like the matchup is is in the favor of that team. You know, so it just depends. Injuries, how well you're playing going into the tournament, all that stuff. But and this year. There is a few teams that are definitely cut above the rest. Like UConn is really good. UConn's always good. No, no, I know that. But like, and girls basketball, they're always good. Yeah, no, yeah. They're, they're a, they're a, they've been they've won a lot of national championships. I mean, you know, they're they're not like Kentucky or North Carolina or Duke, but I mean, they're up there with like mm -hmm. Kansas. You know, as far as championships won, and uh, they've been really good, especially over the course of the last, like, you know, decade. But, I mean, they were really good in the 90s, too. There was just that gap between, like, you know, the last 10 years. Yeah, they were really good when they had Rip Hamilton. That's when they were good back in the day. So when back they had Ray Allen, too. Yeah. So back in the day, um, in the '90s, when they were like, when the girls and the guys were really good, um, they have a casino out there called Twin Rivers. I'm mean, not Twin Rivers, Mohegan Sun, and that's in um, that's in Connecticut. And they had this, they had this room. They don't have it anymore. It was a 360 theater, right? And they would play the game on the 360 screen, and they had the technology where it was stretched. And then they had other cameras because it was confusing. It was weird, but it was the coolest thing. They charged like twenty dollars a piece to get in there and watch the games because it was on that three sixty screen. It was the coolest thing. 
The craziest is when St. Patrick's Day would fall on March Madness. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was yeah. when I was, you know, I was partying hardcore. So they, I tell you, they used to have this thing here in D.C. called uh, Kegs and Eggs. And, you know, it, it would be like on St. Patrick's Day, and you would literally, like, have breakfast and start drinking. And, man... I remember a few times it just being absolutely just hammered by like one o'clock in the afternoon. One time I remember I was, Tim. I was in a uh I was in a, a I was so drunk. I was in a I signed up for a Irish uh dance off competition at a bar once. And, oh my God, it was, it was, uh, it was interesting to say the least. And they got, I got interviewed by the Washington Post, absolutely hammered. <laughs> I remember when that article came out, I was like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> oh, I guess I got to have to play Mega Millions, 875000 Met eight hundred seventy-five million dollars today. If you win, can I have one percent? I can't. I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> I need. I I need every penny I can get right now. I am. I am hurting. It's really been tough sledding as of late. Oh God. Oh. Okay. All right. I wonder what platform he's going to set that up on. I don't know. ESPN would probably be the easiest, right? Yeah. All right. Do... Got all these awesome man. Carolina don't have too tough a path this year, to be honest. Number two, Arizona. That uh, could be a little something. They said they said if you drew a, a for the for the brackets, they said if you took the United States and drew a line right down the middle, no teams west of that have won the. Uh, national championship since 1997. Was that Arizona? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If Carolina can't win, I always pull for underdogs. That's what I do. The whole tournament. Carolina, anybody but Duke, and <laughs> beyond that, underdogs. That's kind of my rooting philosophy in the tournament. Justin, I'm getting ready, but I haven't done it yet. Dude, I think, man, NC State could pull an upset in the first round. They play Texas Tech. If they play anything like they played in the ACC, bro, like people are people are in trouble in that bracket. Texas Tech just got housed by the Houston. It's crazy to see Houston back on top again in the NCAA. Right. Like, not since Akeem Elijah won, man. What does everybody do when life gets in the way of work? I was supposed to batch pictures today, but Hubby's back went out this morning, so off to the doctor. I go. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
my life. Why not? Tony spelled backwards. <laughs> All right. A lot of movement today. So. Yeah, I've got a few listings then. In limbo. I always file an extension on my taxes, so I got to October. <laughs> when I pay today, what you can put off to tomorrow. Apparently, if you have the uh, the Star Wars Carolina Hurricane bobblehead, it's worth like a thousand dollars. Do you guys see where he goes? He goes from way somewhere. To, Eric goes. Eric is about as ADD as me. Well, I think we're all ADD. <laughs> That's why we're reselling. Yeah. I know. <laughs> They were the tax question because that was in the chat. But he was talking about the game and who was doing good in the games, and then all of a sudden he's talking about bobbleheads. In the we talking about is listing. He a, where is he? Is I'm he, listing bobbleheads. See? We don't. Do, <laughs> we don't do listing over here. Oh, I do. Loafing only. Okay. Loafing only. Dude, did you guys see that pig that I put in the group chat that we ate? Did you eat the head? Did you eat the cheeks? Yeah, that's the best part. They call it, you know what they call that? They call it guanchale. They call it la lingua. Oh, <laughs> lingua. That was good, though. Really good. Yeah, cheeks and tongue. Like, All the elders eat the skin. They love that stuff. Yeah, we eat the skin. Cracklins, man. Cracklins. I love that, and it's so bad for you. I had some yesterday. They make it fresh at the flea market. Oh, yeah. With flavors? Yeah, this guy doesn't have flavors. Mm, $10 a piece on the bobbleheads. That's about the average. Uh, I'd lot that up. $10 plus shipping. Yeah, I've got a bunch of repeats. But I don't have a full set of anybody. Like all these one of fours, I literally have two sets of yeah. one of fours, three sets of one of fours, and then one guy by himself. Well, Don, I'll put that on there so he can see that. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully we can. Um, we had a couple of district sales past couple of days. Yeah, and that's something that we'll talk about too when we do the um, the town hall. Um, maybe we should try and do that this Friday. We'll talk about it after we go live. But the um, you know we've been talking to Ivan and. The Google search has been producing a lot. Like they, they've been investing a lot in the SEO for Google search. So your items are now coming up. If people search on Google, uh, your district listings will come up. And you don't have to pay for it like eBay and other places. So that's. 
that's a big plus right now. Stop it. Stop. Why is everybody picking on me today? I'm done with you guys. What happened now, Leroy? I saw I saw that in the chat. I saw that in the chat on, on one stop shop. What? Kristen said she's not listening on district till Leroy does. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what did I do to you guys? Jesus. We're, hey, I'm going to be with Leroy soon. So we're going to get him there. We're going to get him there. There you go. You can go live with Ots from Charlotte. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for sale for everyone. <laughs> nice. There you go, Leroy. I know it is. I know it is. I listen. I need all the tough love I could get. I'll, I'm I'm made off of tough love, guys. Uh, <laughs> Leroy, I'm sorry, but I'm still not doing it until you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Eric. I do got something cool I can show you guys that I got the other day that was like just a random car. I actually have it listed already. Other than Ots, because I've already talked to Ots about this. See if anybody knows what this is. I feel like I know what this is. What is that, the base to an umbrella? Like a... Uh... Porch umbrella, like a restaurant umbrella. No. Little water can. I give you a little. We can't see it. You can't see that in one. No. What do you mean? <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close. Did it wrong. It's pretty the closest so far. So this is Volkswagen made. It's actually a spare gas tank that fits inside of the spare tire. Wow. That's okay. So if you run out of gas, you can pull the gas tank out, carry yep. it, fill it up. Yeah, this thing's expensive. There's one listed right now for 600 which is not mine. I list them on for 300. We'll see what happens. Did it wrong. Seen one before. There is interest, but nobody's pulled the trigger. I looked at the $600 one and I was like, I think that one's like vintage, like old, old. This is not as vintage, but. I had no idea. I just saw VW. I was like, yeah. Volkswagen. Usually if you see that, those parts are pretty good. Volkswagen, yeah. Hey, yeah, Volkswagen, yeah. It's it, like, listen, I've sold a bunch of Volkswagen stuff. Parts and clothing i'm telling you if you see clothing
Cam Ward, Brandon Suter. I wonder if those towels are worth anything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's cold yes. again, man. I know, right? Dude, Saturday and Sunday, it was so nice. Dude, I was getting stuff done outside. And then I was like, on Sunday, I was like, man, I should just mow the lawn. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll do it like Monday. I'll do it next week. It's going to be nice. I I did not look at the, the, the weather forecast. Freezing. It's like 40 degrees right now. Yeah. So I got a bone to pick with eBay. eBay, Before, we do wait, not. Wait, 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 wait. Before you start, all comments from Tim over the years are not uh, reflected from the panel of Reseller Information Network. <laughs> and all views about eBay are only deemed the versus over the years. All right, continue. I, I had to run that. I had to run that for legal, okay? Okay. So, right? I got a golf club listed, right? Shipping is UPS. Right? I get the order. I go get ready to look at, you know, I always look at my orders, where they're going and everything before I start packing them. So I look at the order, it says P.O. Box. I'm like, come on. You can't ship uh, to a P.O. Box using UPS. No, I know. So oh, then okay. why does eBay allow them to buy the item, pick UPS shipping, if they are shipping to a P.O. Box? Yeah, I don't know. Not only that, the P.O. Box is in Hawaii. Out. What you do? Oh, yeah, you, right. you look up their post office box and find the physical address to that location, and then you put PO box in the in the second address bar. Who said that? I, I tried it once. It actually worked. Like, I started looking at, like, all the alternatives. Like, sometimes you can put a phone number on there and they'll do it, but they won't do it. You can't do it ground or something like that through UPS. It's a whole bunch UPS of saver will go to the P.O. Box is what Ott says. Yeah. But that, that cost, that, that the whole point of using UPS, you're shipping golf clubs, is that it's cheaper. If you use the ground saver UPS, it's it's damn near as much as it is to ship in priority. The other thing is, is now I can't use, I can't do the swindle of the boxes that I, you know, the, the box swindle I do when it comes to golf clubs. Because it's going to the post office. <laughs> so, it's this whole thing. So, I had to, like, make a box. Ship it ground advantage, and it still cost me twenty dollars. I charge that. I do flat rate shipping on all my on everything. You know that they they said they said you should exclude for Hawaii and Alaska. Well, I mean, I don't. I, it wouldn't have been a problem if it wasn't if it wasn't a PO box. Yeah. Because I do flat rate shipping $15 for all my golf clubs, right? And I ship every single one UPS. No problems. But because it was a P.O. box, it was an issue. And I could have probably been okay with, you know, shipping P.O. box, ground advantage, anywhere else in the country. But Hawaii. So it was just like the absolute worst 
combination of possibilities. Hey, Brad said to change P.O. Box to sweet. It's what his coach master told him to do. So yeah, that was a nice kerfuckle. Dude, one of those towels sold for $35. That's crazy. The 26th, 2006 playoff ones, $35. Nice. You guys know how to play dominoes? It depends on what dominoes you're talking about. Dominican dominoes? Are you talking about shoot the moon? What? Shoot the moon? I don't know what that is. <laughs> you talking about train dominoes? Yeah, there's... So I, I was at, you know, I was with Josie's uh, Dominican family this weekend, and so uh, they're playing dominoes, and Josie's like, you got to play. I'm like, I, mean, I haven't played dominoes in years. Like, I don't even think I remember how to play. So, like, I kind of looked on YouTube to refresh my memory. I'm like, all right, I'm good to go. Because you guys know me. Like, I'm a competitive person. If there's a game being played of any sort, I want in, Right. And so I sit down, Josie's dad and me, Josie's dad's my partner. We sit down with a growing up against Josie's uncles and and we sit down. First game, Joe and I, Josie's dad and I, we win, right? I'm like, all right, let's go. Like, I got this. Bro, the Dominicans went on an absolute run. There was <laughs> like 17 straight games. I was like... I'm like so I'm so confused. I'm like I don't understand why we can't win. Like it just never worked out. Like just got bad tiles, all types of not working. Super annoying. But now I'm hooked on dominoes. Alright, UPS now for this grailed corner. Them how to pack and ship. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, man. I sold that, um, that, uh, what was it? What was it? Beller, Bellarmine, uh, University Champion Crew Neck. Remember when I was with, I had you guys live when I picked that up? I sent you a message, sir. Not sold on Grailed. They might have every towel from every round. That's pretty crazy.
You guys ever been to a hockey game? Oh, yeah. I've only been to minor league. Oh, this is hell. <laughs> My first hockey game was at the old, um, damn, what did they call that place? U.S. Air Arena, maybe? Or I think that's what it was called in like Land Landover or something like that back in the day. Where the Capitals used to play, and I think the Bullets played there too. Georgetown played there. That was one of my first hockey games. Oh, man. Dude, if all these are worth like 20 bucks. A little stack of gold right here, buddy. These are from the finals. 2006. Guess what I'm doing? Uh, so you you remember I put out a worth point video a while back, right? Yeah. So like I knew that it wasn't gonna be like a crazy video at first, but I knew that it was gonna be like an evergreen video. So like it's become like a pretty good video. Like people watch it like every day. And Worth Point reached out to me and they were like, We saw your video, we love your video, we wanna do a a feature of you on Worth Point. Nice. So I'm going to be doing an interview, I think, next week. And it's going to be published on uh, WorthPoint. That's cool. You get right. So I'll make sure to, to name drop, you know, Reseller Information Network, One Stop Shop. See if we can't uh, bank some momentum off of that. Two thousand. Hey, Kevin. Kevin says worth point with an F. Never heard of. <laughs> Oh my God! Come on, man. You know, you know, in, in, in here in this neck of the woods, pronounce our ths like f's. It's <laughs> funny.
<laughs> Worth Point is right next to 7-Eleven. 7 Goodness. Looking from the trailer, my dude's in the building. Get the apex flipper. Brad. Yep. Let's see how he got. Kelly gets you. Working over here. Brazilla has 11 more subs until she hits 1K. No, 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 no. That's the, they're talking about the, the two old guys podcast. Oh, my God. This does not make any sense. Why is there this much traffic at this time of day? <laughs> All right, so you nuts, Rick. Really. Oz has like 20 some pallets coming. He's going to buy a storage unit. <laughs> oh, Lord. I know that's not Molly typing. She's probably like, what are you talking about? That's fine. Look at this. I think the only way I would do one is if I can sell it. 
Look at all I that. Spell it without having to move it. What time is it right now? It's ten twenty. Ten twenty on a Tuesday morning. Bumper to bumper on the Beltway. Nashville meetup next month. I don't know anything about that. It's uh, Ray. Nashville Clippers is doing a, um, a meetup in Nashville. Gotcha. That'd be a cool one to go to, but I just I can't. I can't afford it right now. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm on four ninety five. Trying to find a way to get over here. This is unacceptable. Somebody just left my ass over. Folks, we got much out. Thirty-nine. First, about them. Uh, Nashville meetup is April twenty-sixth through twenty-eighth. Not gonna be able to get to that. <laughs> it's four ninety five ever, not bumper to bumper outside of like three AM. You can only get one day. Even though I'm close, I can't afford to stay in match for gonna get Tim one of those bumper stickers that says, please let me merge or I'll cry. <laughs> That's what Kristen said. <laughs> Oh, man. Let me see something real quick. Thank you. 
I think I'm about to do a little experiment, guys. Little experiment. I'm going to do you guys a deal of the day. First of all, I'm going to do it a little different today than normal. What time is it right now? It is almost 1030. Okay. So we get off at 12. Here's my deal of the day. A whole number seven box full of Carolina Hurricane memorabilia. We're going to run a auction from now to 1145. Nice. I put the link down below. It will be crammed. I started the at $20 free ship. It will be crammed full of some of everything you saw here today eric you should make an announcement on the the district announcement so that it, it sends a, a email notification to everybody who's a member let's see let's see to do that on my uh
Have you guys ever seen this guy? Uh, he's like the self-proclaimed king of eBay. You guys ever seen that guy? I've seen a lot of guys who are the self-proclaimed king of eBay. <laughs> <laughs> His name is literally King of eBay, though. Have you guys it's ever this, seen this guy? A... Carolina Hurricanes hockey. Chris to ask. Sorry. Yeah, you don't you, you don't know King of eBay, bro? This guy, let me tell you, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> guru know. alert. Hashtag guru alert. <laughs> What's that? Kent said hashtag guru alert. Guru I could, alert. I could not believe, like, you got to be some type of guy to be the, to have your name King of eBay. Right? But yeah. isn't he the king of eBay though? Hell no! Oh. I thought king he was. eBay my ass. I, I always saw him and I'm like, oh, look at that. That's King eBay right there. There's only <laughs> he one. Is definitely, he is definitely not the king of eBay. There's only one king of eBay in my eyes. What's that? There ain't no pictures, Kevin. Ain't no pictures. Because if I put pictures on it, then people are going to be like, well, that wasn't in there. Because it's just me. Because I've got a big pile right here. Just asking. It will include towels. It will include a couple pots for sure. Bobblehead. Never made it. The ninety percent off key. <laughs> uh, some group I saw the other day, the guy was talking about how, uh, Somebody had uh, talked about the top selling items on eBay. And then they looked the items up that the guy was talking about. And uh, there was nothing there. Like, no sales. <laughs> they couldn't find where this person had ever sold anything. Kevin said it was Kent. He's the king of eBay. <laughs> Kent said it. Don't tell a secret. Janiel said his first eBay was Universal King. Everything you were nowhere or nothing. I don't know who that is. Is that me? Is that my mic that's kicking back? Are you ready? You're muted. That was the king of eBay. The podcast. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, how much sponsorship money do you think that got paid to uh, be able to be the official representative being in eBay? Is he the only one that's allowed to be the king of eBay if he pays enough? No, so he is the king of eBay. That's his name. And I think they have a show also called The Kings of eBay. So I guess there's more than one of the kings. I don't know, oh, yeah. some sort of reselling monarchy. I don't understand it. They're a bunch of jabronis, from what I can tell. Do they wear the Joker's crown? I am not affiliated with anything that anybody on this panel says about other people. So 
if you're friends or if you are one of those kings of comedy or king, it's actually comedy because you think you're a king of me, but anyway, if you're if you're if you're affiliated with them, I'm not affiliated with these guys. So their opinions are they, they're gonna send they're gonna send all the kingsmen to get us. Yeah, the only the only king I trust is the Chaching King. He's the only one. Yes, I trust. yes, yes. Scott is the man. I thought we were selling on e-commerce. I didn't know we were playing chess. Chess. <laughs> that seems like a Nigerian print scam. <laughs> I see Ken said I need a alignment. I don't just I just I need a whole new I need a new life, Ken. I need a new life. They don't sell those though. Why don't you go back to being a stripper? I guess they actually they kinda do. Hey, have you ever uh have you ever watched Green Acres? No. You guys have watched Green Say Acres? what? Y'all ever watched Green Acres? Green Acres? Yeah. Like that's all. Uh, I've seen it before back in the day. It's got the song, right? Uh, how does the song go? Green Acres is the place to be. Farm living is the Ooh. life for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, that's an old, old, that's like what, 60s? Yeah, you know what the 50s? theme of that show was? Get out of the what? city. Get out of the city. <laughs> so the theme of the show was. But the wife wanted to stay in the city. He's like, I've had enough of the city. That's it. Tim's new name is going to be the King of Cards. Yep. The king of podcasts, the king of cards. I will never yeah. call myself a king of anything. Never. The prime minister, maybe. Prime minister. Well, unless we're talking 7 Eleven points, I can claim, I can claim king, king of, of that. 7 Eleven points. Hey, Sal, good to see you. I'm almost at 140,000 7 Eleven points. Is Sal the king of reselling? Sal's the king of tape guns. Yes. He is that. Mine's still alive and kicking. Well, uh, listen, that's a good one right there. You should use that one when you get home. <laughs> Yeah, I might that might give me some brownie points, all right? There you go. Reminds me of a two thousand movie ready to rumble with the king wrestler. King me. You know, I, I see that they, I see that guy on TikTok all the time. Did you Does say King Me on TikTok? Lord Farquaad. Does he have a picture of Lord Farquaad? <laughs> no, King of eBay's on TikTok all the time. So I that's why I saw him. I saw I don't remember if it was TikTok, YouTube, or something like that, but it was like a, a short. And I saw the short and I was like, what is this? This guy doesn't even know what he's talking about. We have two bids on the Carolina Hurricane memorabilia box. King of pain. <laughs> there you go. Eddie Albert. Yep, yep, yep. It is 41 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Burner, burner, burner. Man, got me yawning now. 
bro. It's been a day already, man. It's been a couple of days. Green Acres is right before New Heart, right? Oh, man. New Heart was always one of those shows that's funny, even though it's super dry. Like, you're like, what? Oh, I get what you did there. <laughs> the New Dark Heart. Lord of eBay. Yes. <laughs> Emperor of eBay. There you go, Tim. That could be your new channel, Emperor of eBay. <laughs> the emperor of e-commerce that's what it is oh my god like can you imagine like, I don't have I, I'm just I'm too humble I could never the emperor of e-commerce that's good Domino's of reselling. <laughs> Listen, if, if somebody was the emperor, this person is literally just walking in the middle of the streets in heels and a jacket. What is going on? Um, it, like, if you're an emperor of e commerce, though, you're probably like selling on Amazon because that's like the dark side. That'd be the dark lord. The dark lord. I don't, I don't know anything about Star Wars, so I just. I just know that there's the the dark side. I know there's Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Dark Vader. Obi Wan Kenobi, right? Uh, he's a character on, on Star Wars. Yeah. So who is you really Obi not watch Star Wars, Tim? No, like I've never seen Star Wars ever. So is Obi Wan Kenobi related to Luke Skywalker? Related by blood. Like, are they brothers or something? No. no. Oh, man. No, no. <laughs> you got it. Is Obi Wan Kenobi is the robot, though? No. All right. You got to stop. You got to stop. That's CB, CB4? Yes. CB4. <laughs> and oh, oh, there's RJD. Hey, you, you sound like me trying to pronounce all those sports uh, guys' names. <laughs> <laughs> RJD2 also, right? RJD2? Yeah. Ricky Jr. And uh, so wait, who's Anakin if there's – so Anakin Skywalker is Luke Skywalker's brother then? Dad. Dad. I thought Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's dad. Same guy. I am your father. Same guy, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader. Yes. Okay. Darth. Darth. Wait. Darth, right? T H, not an F. Not Darth Vader. Brad, no, stop, Tim. You're hurting my heart. <laughs> hey, Cameron. <laughs> you just walked into Tim is Tim is telling us uh, all about Star Wars. It's great. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. You're right. I, I think at this point he's probably not gonna watch it. He hasn't watched it in four years. <laughs> hey buddy, I know. Okay, down, 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 down. Hey, hey, come on. I know I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey. We're going to go outside. Come on. Let's go. I heard of that character, Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, man. So, hey, dude, that would be, listen, what Tim needs to do is he needs to, he needs to watch the Star Wars, like, whole series, 
Oh yeah, give and us then, a play by play. And right? then do yeah, do a and then do give a. Give us a uh, play by play, like you used to do with uh, what was that? <laughs> what was that British show you were watching for a while? Yeah. What? Oh, what was the British show you were watching for a while? Oh, Downtown Abbey. Yeah. So next week, your assignment is to watch the original Star Wars. Oh, there's no way. I can't do it. I don't have time to watch Star Wars. I I have the Cliff Notes version just now from you guys. Then there's... Uh, well, it's way uh, there's deeper Chris than that. That's Layla. No, wait. Okay, I can name a lot of characters. I got Luke. Princess Layla? I got Obi. Layla, Layla Ali. Prince Layla. Obi Kwan. <laughs> Obi, wait. Obi Kwan, Obi Kwan, Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, there's Chewbacca. I don't know where he they found that guy. Uh, RJD two. The robot is CB four. Um, that's it, right? Basically, is there anybody else? Then there's the the little. Yeah, there's uh, there's the some little, pretty big characters still missing. Where there's the the little Care Bear uh, looking things too, the right? Ewoks. What do they call yeah, those? Ewoks. Ewoks. Yeah. Tubaka. Yep. Tubaka. Um. Layla Ali. Mm -hmm. That's it. I didn't miss any characters, right? Oh yeah, there's a big one. Harrison Ford. Oh, oh, Yoda, Yoda, Yoda. Oh yeah, Yoda. I got Yoda. So Indiana Jones is also in Star Wars. No. Yeah. You mean Harrison Ford? Yeah. Wasn't he the original Luke Skywalker? Nah. Nah. Different character. Yeah. Hans. Hans and Franz. Han Solo. Him and Chewbacca. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch uh devices. I'll be back. <laughs> Han Swolo. <laughs> oh man. Ken says Han Swolo. <laughs> that I think that's a I think that was a different uh Star Wars. That might have been a Star Wars parody video he was watching. Mm. Oh, oh. oh. <sighs> Burt Reynolds tried for the part of Hans. Hmm. I took these floor shine boots that were like all kind of scuffed up and uh, turned them black. Yo. Look, look, look at this. They're from the floor shine designer collection. Yo. See how that little. Uh, Speaking little... of Star Wars, little Star Wars Chelsea boots. Yeah, listen, listen. Yeah. These, listen, Star Wars cosplayers buy these boots all the time because the empire the empire was rocking the the side zip short booty boots yeah chelsea boots galore on uh the set of star wars yeah there's your little tie into reselling right there that's why sarnock is the emperor of e-commerce that's right here because <laughs> boots don't sell yeah boots don't sell come on now 
man. You know that. He, he, he did mention Layla. He called her Layla. Layla. Layla Ali. Yeah. She was Princess Layla Ali. <laughs> This one's gonna need another coat or something. Because <laughs> there was triggered. She was triggered by this episode. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, my sister, my sister never watched Star Wars till she got older. And now her son, like, so Zeke, my nephew, knows everything about Star Wars. Like he knows so much general akbar there you go tim would like him yeah i think if he sat down to watch star wars he'd be all in to be honest just knowing his yeah of uh like getting hooked into episodes yeah i think he'd be all in I don't know. Leroy might want to went for snacks. I'm not sure. Oh, definitely, bro. I think he had to take a phone call, to be honest. There. See, all I'm doing is just going, you're just painting. Oh, yeah. Don't even need the numbers. Nope. George Lucas from my hometown is what Ott says. Five guys still rules. <laughs> oh, they're about to start up the hamburger. Oh, <laughs> uh, Gauntlet has been thrown down. Hold on. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Mm. Taco Bell, of course. Pizza the Hut, yeah. Wow. I know, there's like a whole other series of stuff. It's missing out. <laughs> he left. He left. He don't have it. Tim, you missed it. Uh, Kevin's trying to get uh, Cernok to change his name. What? The Emperor of e-commerce? Hey, what is that? Your mic's got some kind of feedback. Or something. My mic? Yeah, it was like popping. Now it's clear. Okay. I don't know what it was. Turn out, you see this? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh man, no, can't can't change it. My business cards. He did then follows up with Taco Bell, of course. <laughs> Taco Bell chicken nuggets seem weird. To it me. was so funny talking about Taco Bell. 
So I had my heart set on Taco Bell last night because Thatcher was playing baseball. All right. <laughs> so like during, like for lunch, I I'll get like some ramen meals. You know, like I'll make ramen for lunch and stuff like that. And uh, I'll make some like you know like uh, either tuna fish or or um, uh, chicken with it or something like that. So like so after baseball practice, he's putting his his stuff up in the in the trunk and I had already gone to the store. He goes, Dad, you got ramen? I'm like, yeah. He goes, dude, can we have that tonight? I'm like, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> He's like, yes. He's like, he oh. like Robin, like the bird. No, I mean, he like he goes, I see. He goes, I've never had it before, but I see them eat that on YouTube. I want, I, I want that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, we, so we made ramen last night. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, yeah, keep keep getting excited about ramen. <laughs> That's an easy meal, bro. All right, these are looking good. <laughs> right now, you're right. Right, oh, I forgot Han Solo. Yeah, bro. We were talking about Han Solo, bro. So wait, Han Solo is Luke Skywalker's adopted dad? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is correct. So wait, who's the mom? Of who? Luke Skywalker's mom. Ah, let's see. Then you gotta go to the prequels for that. You gotta watch the main three, and then, and then watch the, the ones that came out in the nineties. That'll answer your question then. So wait, Luke Skywalker's mom did did was it? Oh, an affair? Did she have an affair with Darth Maul? No. To... So she was originally with Darth Maul from the beginning. That was her first, her first bun. Her first. No, bun. no, she was with, she was with, she was with Darth Vader. Okay, so they were originally. Then they got, they got together. They had Luke. Then what? He went to the dark side. She got a. Well, divorce. She died. She died. She died. Yeah given birth wow so then how how did how did uh luke get separated from dorf no 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 that, no that that's had me had aunt wait no yeah no, well because because they, he went to the dark side but he didn't bring Luke with him to the dark side. He left his ass on the on the, the sunny side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody just leave him in the woods? Maybe. And then he got found by Chewbacca or Yoda. Which one of them, one of them probably found Luke, right? Yeah. They put him in a they put him in a um they put him in a you know, you know one of like little baskets, and, and they floated his ass down the and river. It floated him down, yeah. And then Yoda picked, scooped him up out of the river when he was fishing. Yeah, yeah. So Yoda is, I think it was Skywalker's adopted dad, and and, and Obi Wan. They have joint custody. They had to go so to the Yoda Imperial, is gay. Yeah, they had to go to the Imperial Court for that to gain custody of him. Interesting. Oh, the Jar Jar Binks. So Jar Jar Binks, where see this is the thing that gets complicated because now you have all these non-humans that are like humans. So you got Jar Jar Binks, RJD2, CB4, Chewbacca, and the the Walks. The Ewoks, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're They're like one. pets, but like people. Correct. 
I think they have like some kind of intergalactic law about owning Ewoks as pets, though. I think that's frowned upon. Okay. But in some colonies, it, it does still happen. Yeah, very, very complex. Yes, Sounds like yeah, days yeah. of our lives. Well, they, right there, and they can't send it up, and they all meet in the multiverse. So this is like it's an interplanetary sort of thing, inter intergalactic type. Oh, thing. we're talking gala galaxies. Yeah, we're talking about galaxies. Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But see, this is the thing that troubles me. Is this is so long ago, right? Like they got like. The like 1970s Charles Manson swag going on as the outfits, but and they got like laser guns and and ships. Time yeah, but it's a, different, it's a different galaxy though. Yeah, so in one can... galaxy, they're not as far as advanced as the other galaxies. Yeah. So yeah. Gotcha. See, it, 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 it breaks down to to you know. Yes, they, they, there you go. They, see, Ken, Ken knows this stuff forward and backwards. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said. Then came the dinosaurs. See, the dinosaurs were a cloning project done on. Uh, and then, then, then you get the whole mix in though, Tim, with aliens. Then you know the alien movies with Star Wars. And E.T. So and then, e, this E.T. probably is a baby because some one of the uh, e. the people e. one e. of the people had had you know a relationship with an Ewok and then they made E.T. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks going down there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're in a galaxy far, far away. This is a oh, lot dude. to take in, guys. Dude, hey, now you're not even talking about the spinoff movies, like The Mandalorian. Yeah. All the spinoff shows. Nah, he don't know that. Here's my question, though. Here's Where's one for you. Here's one for you, Tim. That'll blow your mind. Oh, I thought they were. Uh, I thought that they were husband and wife. They did kiss at one point. Before they knew they were brother and sister. So did they yeah. share the same mom, or did they share the same dad? Both. What? So her father is uh Darth Vader too? They're actually twins. No way. Yeah. Separated at birth. But what about the Miraclorians though? How does that how does that work out then? I was talking about the spinoff. I did tell him about Leah and Luke being brother sister. Oh yeah, but they did kiss though. Yeah, that's so funny. I don't know if it's accidental. Little Louisiana style is what uh, Ken said. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Et is Yoda and Chewie's kid. Oh my gosh. Spinoffs. I just had to take three Advil because this has just become too much for me to digest at once. Yeah, you gotta take it slow, bro. You can't. You can't. You know. That's why you need to start with the movie one, Star Wars. Yeah, start, start with, with the movie one. start with the first one, and then you you'll we'll be, we'll be okay. And then come back here and, and tell us all. I about mean, now you. that Masters of the Air is done, you can just chunk it. They were from Alabama. That's what Brad said. Met at the family reunion.
<laughs> that was the West Virginia Galaxy. Yes, yes. <laughs> the original banjo music was when I played Star Wars. The Ford Galaxy. There you go. There you go. Oh, god dang it! I've got another. I've got another pair of boots that were. It's in. It's in the. It's in the first. The first stage. Start getting this marbly. See that right there? Get a marbly kind of color. Hmm. Don't forget the Dementors. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no tongue, it didn't count. That's true. All right. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, you gotta watch. You gotta, yeah, you gotta watch. You gotta watch basically yeah, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. Yeah, that is true. That is important. I think one of the streaming services actually has it where you can watch it chronologically. Oh, they got dude. dude I, I've watched one. Listen to this. I've watched uh, an edit where they 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 just edit out Jar Jar Binks altogether. Yeah. A lot of people aren't happy about Jar Jar. I'm not sure why, but they just they just took it. They just took him out of the whole thing. And and the funny thing about the edit was, it's funny because it's like it really didn't even impact the story, you know. And then Tim, we won't even get into the like, like, like the Star Wars books that how some of them like are canon and some of them aren't canon. You know all about that? He's gonna be the biggest Star Wars nerd ever. We get done with him. Sure. <sighs> Oh, man. <laughs> Sentimental connection. This is the best entertainment I've had in a long time while trying to ship. <laughs> Shipping. Yo. I did probably sell my last pair of extra tufts yesterday. Oh, nice. I'll leave this. I'll, I'll leave this as a note. Some, some of these dudes doing these shipping lives. Bro. <laughs> Cat hair included. Love it. <laughs> it's a riot, bro. All right. Ooh, the last starfighter. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. The last starfighter is good. Man, I wa I've watched that movie a ton.
nicely. The thing about it is, with when you're redoing your boots, when you're when you're doing the leather on it, light coats, light light clothes, <laughs> light clothes. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. So what you do is you let you let you let basically you know you do it light coat, let it dry. Another so usually depending on like how dark the color is, probably like two or three coats will get you a nice looking boot. Now this side you can still see a little bit of the like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna touch it up. No, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Hey, Tim, have you seen that? I know. No, I, I printed labels this morning. Yeah. That was at like 7 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock this morning. I expect the shoe run like show <laughs> all the foot people out there. No. The feet people. Hey yeah, cat. <laughs> Kevin said, Don't talk about Dave shipping show like that. Uh Lord. Hey. Struggling today. Yeah, these boots are the lady killers. Yeah, bro. What's trending, y'all? Shipping the longer burger today. Oh, trending for me is still. Man, I, listen to this. I'll tell you this. Beach not to ball. brag. I'm not trying to brag here, but like I have an RA place I go to. There's there's these there's these branded jeans. Whenever I find them, it's like, oop, look, a hundred dollar bill on the ground. <laughs> Because they sell so fast. I'll get I'll let you know. Rock Revival. If you find new Rock Revival jeans out there, if you can, pick them up. Also, also, here's here's another soap. <laughs> soap. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. Did you see that soap I saw? The vintage soap. Mm. Yeah. So it, let me let me let me see if I can pull it up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> hey, listen. If y'all can find them at the prices I find them. Second love. So. <laughs> there's a there's a lady right now who's live on Knickknacks, uh, and she's doing her her peaches to beaches stuff. I'm sitting here looking like. What were you? What were what were these guys doing down there at Peaches to Beaches if they weren't grabbing all of this crazy glass? Yeah. 
There you go, right there. So, so that's so awesome. I can't believe you did that on the soap. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys must not have been watching enough uh, of of Jocelyn, you know. You guys keep telling me that she's uh, the renaissance of glass. You know what? I feel like the way that Trash the Cast talks about me and glass, I feel like I'm Jar Jar Binks and and Jocelyn is, is Luke Skywalker. This is not fair, Kevin. I appreciate yeah, I mean, you trying to hold me down. I really do. I love you for it. Jar but... Jar Binks. That's that's So Jar Jar Binks is like Rodney Dangerfield, basically. Mm. Oh, well, I mean, not really. He's like, um, who would Jar Jar Binks be like? Hmm. <laughs> he walks like the guy off of uh, Fat Albert that has the um, beanie hat. Okay. So let's do this then. If you had to assign each one of the members from the Reseller Information Network, okay, myself, Cernok, Leroy, and Eric, who would each one of us be if we were a character in a Star Wars movie? Assign each one of us as our our character match in Star Wars. That's what I want to know. <laughs> That's not a huge Can't straight come straight out of the gate with Leroy as Chewy. <laughs> Rosella says Barney the dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Who's the turtle shell head guy? <laughs> who is it with the turtle shell? I don't even know who that is. Trash Cat Rescue says Cernok is Yoda. <laughs> no. Well, well. Could be. Kevin says Obi Wan is Cernok. I I am short. Is Obi Wan Kenobi short? Oh yeah. no, Yoda is short. Oh yeah. He says, "Oh, Star Trek." My bad. <laughs> We're getting close to to five hundred members. Leroy C B C three PO. Wait, C three PO? I thought you said it was C B four. Yes, that's his nickname. CP3O or C3PO is CB4? Yeah. That's the gold robot. Yes. Yeah, the Mazar. Yeah, yeah, we can all be R R2 D2. I kept saying RJD2. That's the a hip hop artist. Yeah. <laughs> Sal says Tim is the glass king. Ah, uh, no, no. I wish. He, he he laid down his title, bro. He laid down his title. He said, y'all come take this from me. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> mm. This one's got some... Yeah, that is. It's kind of a cool like look, but we can't keep it that way. Uh. 
It's just the trash, people, Ace. And you know what? Those trash people are up to no good. They can put a stop to it. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yes. I could be Lando. Who's Lando? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Lando. There yeah. you go. I could be Lando. <laughs> <laughs> it said Tim's an Ewok. Lovable Ewok, though. Love by key. Love, love. Salacious Crumb. Who's that? Deep cuts, deep cuts. Wow. Possible. Oh, oh, so, Yes, yes. Behind the scenes schemer, yes. Mm. No, I know. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Because, like, Obi-Wan, like, for me, I think more Eric's more like Obi-Wan. Okay? Um, I feel, yeah, I feel like Lando fits me more. Leroy is chewy. That's only because he eats all the time. That's what they think. <laughs> Plus, chewy has a little bit of edge, right? Like, oh, yeah. Like, throw the. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a good. Ewok. Lovable Ewok. You know why, Tim? Because you have your own language. <laughs> Good one. Uh, she's giving the full explanation. She's coming with the Ewok. Next is the Ewok. <laughs> Tim yelling at traffic is definitely a chewy vibe there. This is coming out good. Lower my camera so y'all can see what I'm working on. Who's Leroy talking to? Somebody in the warehouse, I guess. Donna's got something for you. Hold Tim. on. Tim. 
That's awesome. 2019, 10, Piece of Rosa, Final Rosa, Old Marks, Google didn't know what they had, snatched and ran with a smile on my face. Love it. It has been so tough for me to find stuff at um, thrift stores as of late. But I haven't told anybody this yet because I'm going to be dropping a video here soon. Uh, this weekend, I got back to the shed Ooh. and reconnected with uh, the lady that runs the shed. She was so happy to see me. It was awesome. I was going because like she they, they used to post it on Facebook, so I would I would always see what they have and before the day or two before going. Then they stopped posting on Facebook and then like stuff got crazy here, like timing and everything's just a lot going on in life. And I just I had been for months. I mean maybe even a year. And then there was a card show in Glen Burnie right by the place, and so I stopped by and the flea market has even expanded now outside. Like it was just her and like a few vendors. Now it's like packed, but a lot of like new junk and stuff. But anyways, um, I got inside there and I forgot how much I miss the shed. It's like, it's like Cernok losing the mission. Like, look at this. Hey, Eric, are we recording today? Um, yeah. yeah, it'd be easier to do it. Today I'm sorry. Was that yes or no? For me, it would be easier to do it today because I've got a packed week after this. Well, what if we what if we what if we try to do like the live town hall this Friday as opposed to doing a recording? Yeah, Are you busy on that. Friday? I'm we okay with that. that. Oh, I can't do that. I won't be here Friday. Where are you gonna be? I'll be I'll be over close to you, Eric. I'll be over in Myrtle Beach. I gotta deliver something with the landlord. Oh, uh, that ain't that ain't close to me, bro. I know, but it's closer than this is. Um, still like five or six hours to Myrtle Beach. Yeah. We'll figure it out when we when we when we close up. Yes, Lisa, some flow blue. You want to see what else I found? Check this out. All right, so I. This is a super rare. American Enterprise Tile Company Inkwell. It's missing its caps, but this thing still sells for probably like, I don't know, fifty to a hundred dollars. It depends. There's it's so rare. There's not there's only been a few sold, and there's absolutely none listed that I can find properly listed. But very cool piece. And check this out. How about some antique Victorian French blue opaline glass? Very, very cool piece there, too. I think you guys will appreciate this. Look at the detail on this piece right here. Look at the dog head on the handle. Oh, wow. That is nice. Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Uh... So you're gonna be going out the shed more often now? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start going back out. Who's that? Hey, I'm gonna resell it. Atlas, come here, Atlas. Whoa. He doesn't care about me. I was going to show um, Kristen Atlas. Yeah, he's a he's a black uh, chocolate love. Yeah, I'll show you what I... I found one glass piece. Oh, the penguin.
here's the penguin. Did you do any research on that yet, Turnock? Yeah, everyone was saying it was Murano. That's the bottom of it. Is there a sticker or a signature? No. What is that? Oh, that was the bottom of it. The square part? Yeah. That's where the sticker used to be. But every everything I saw, it said Murano on... On, it on looks that. like it looks like some of that bird that I had, like just the makeup of it. This eye. Does when you guys when you guys are done, I need to pick somebody's brain. How about this? Oh, the rising phoenix. Is that Ridgeways? I don't know. Well, what does it say? Does it say Ridgeway? It says England, semi-China. Yeah, but what does it say in the little like uh, bone arrow? Ridgeway. Okay, that's what I thought. Is that anything? Yeah, Ridgeway makes good stuff. That's sometimes that that pattern is is either referred to as blue willow or. Uh, Phoenix Rising. Well, Donna asked if the if the penguin was heavy. Yeah, it's very heavy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's probably a good three four pounds. Yeah. Colby. Go ahead. Um, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't do it as much now as I used to. Uh, it. When you're looking at glass, ceramic, or porcelain, right, and it comes down to chip or damage, there's like a few rule of thumbs that I go that I apply to it, okay? First being is the value of the item because – and this kind of correlates with age also. If it's an item that's like 1800s, early 1900s, and it's a very valuable piece, the – Depending on what it is, sometimes light damage will not – I told this to somebody the other day. It doesn't hurt the value. It just doesn't help the value, specifically in, like, flow blue and stuff like that. Um, the second thing that I look for is displayability. So how much does the damage affect the way that the item would, can be displayed? Can you display the item with – like one side without seeing the damage or not. Um, so price, age, uh, displayability, those sort of things go into it. Because sometimes it's like if an item's worth like $40 and it has like a wicked chip and it's only worth like $20 at that point and it costs me $5 to buy it, I'm not going to buy it. Because it's going to be hard to sell – and the profit's not going to be that much there, and then the space to store it, and then the time to ship it. So it has to be very uh, – yeah, that's a good point too. The Stevens and Williams, like applied glass pieces, a lot of times that applied glass stuff will break off. But, yeah, that's, um, that's kind of how I look at it when it comes to damaged items. Because, like, sometimes, it, you know, it's easy to just be like, oh, it's, it, it's messed up, right? I remember one time Josie and I were at the shed and Josie found a Tiffany teapot and it had a massive crack all down the bottom on the side of the teapot. Even with the damage, it sold for over $200. So like that sort of stuff, if, if it's damaged, it doesn't really matter. As long as it still has the eye appeal and the value. What is that? I tried to click on that like a link. That's the one thing that StreamYard, I wish they did. I wish they could make it so that the when we see the chat and somebody puts a link in it, that we could click on it from StreamYard. Oh.
right. Oh, the penguin. I can't even copy it. Ugh. Other one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> Made in the USA. A five minutes left on the auction. Five minutes left. It will be a whole box load of the stuff that you guys saw earlier. So never fear. The value will be there for sure. For sure. <laughs> Kevin will snipe as usual. <laughs> Probably so. I'm going to put a load of those towels in there. There is one a towel sold for like 35 bucks, very similar to what's in there. But there's some hats, some bobbleheads. So a cool thing I like to do is see where you see when you have like all this side, it's like it turn brown and you get the cracks and everything like that. That polish help or that, that leather dye helps kind of, uh, hide all those those uh, imperfections. So, no, you guys know there's a new Star Wars series coming out June 4th. You better catch up. You got, you got a, lot of, a lot of watching to do between that. Man. The official Acolyte. Yeah, you need to, dude. You need to watch all the dude. He needs he needs a lot to catch up, bro. He's yeah. got all the Star Wars movies to watch. Then he's got the he's got like the the Clone Wars cartoon to watch. Oh, then, yeah. he, then he can go into all like the Disney Plus stuff. You ready for that, Tim? What's that? Just the the, the deep dive into Star Wars. I did it. You guys told me everything. We got the whole. Oh story. no, no, we haven't even hit the, we the Mandalorian. The didn't even like. Didn't even touch on the Mandalorian. Boba Fat, Jabba the Hutt. Did you yeah. see what Madonna said about the penguin? What's up? Oh yeah, it's it's all good. Listen, I bought it for a buck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it will still sell, though. It should still sell for like fifty dollars. Oh yeah, I'd imagine. Oh yeah. Oh, Kent, Kent's already got his uh, eBay swag. My free eBay swag hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> for uh, what? eBay Open. Yeah, the eBay Spring Seller Event. You didn't go to that? Hell no! Ain't nobody told me. Anybody get? I ain't get no invite. E e what do you mean? eBay eBay had it all over their front page. When like the last time you're not got a message from the king. So you're not got a message from the king. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're not on the eBay king, the king of eBay's uh, mailing list, dude. Like, yeah, bro. Come yeah. on. Nah, man. I've never. The last time I don't even remember the last time I was on an eBay front page. Or even like you know they, we we got you know they send emails too. Nah, bro. Do you know how many emails I get in a day, sir? Not. Yeah. As probably as many as I do. I have like four email accounts, and they're all at like ninety six percent storage right now. You gotta, you gotta. 
<laughs> Box of freebies and a gift card. Yo. Yep. Yep. Madonna said the last one. On there, uh, 40, uh, Leroy? 40 bucks. What? What are you eating? Popcorn. Out of an eBay, out of an eBay mailer. <laughs> you got that from the eBay open. I mean, that was so um, Kelly did drop the news on the quarterly coupon will expire in two weeks. So if you haven't used your eBay coupon, is that first quarter? Yes. I think I used that the first, the beginning of the year. eBay popkin popping corn. He loves popcorn. Go away. Go. Go. Bye. Whose dog is that, Leroy? Is that yours? That's, that's the warehouse dog. Neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's got food, that's whose dog it is. Right. <laughs> uh. So with the low, all right, two two minute warning, two minute warning on the auction. Now you make it just make it pop a little bit more. See, it was already it was already black, but look, I'll do it a little side by side. See how like that polish just makes it make it. All right, so this one's this one's or not polish, but the leather dye on that just makes it just go a little bit. So see how this one's all. Bleh. This one's like see before and then after. So like a lot of these, a lot of those like creases get covered up. So see how bad the creasing was? Like that now it looked the creasing is still there, but it's not as it's not as bad. Yeah. Did it end? That's what they said. Oh wow. One second. Yo. Let's see what we got. <coughs> Apex Flipper. Headed your way. Nice, nice. I gotta find my tape gun. We'll get you loaded up. Loaded up. Hurricanes. You didn't go to FlipCon, did you? Nah. I know you're going to the um I know you're going to the, the King of Resellers convention. I know you're going to that. Yeah, Resellers. King of eBay? Oh. I know you're going with that. You and um, you and um, Ted, you and Kent got a table. Yeah. One of these I, days, I, I'll be a big time real reseller, and I'll make it to every meetup and convention. Actually, I heard that you're going to the the Kings of eBay's convention, and you're actually going to sponsor it like fifteen hundred bucks. Is that oh, yes? Yeah. Tim is I, don't, the, I don't pay to sponsor. I get paid. I need to get paid. I got to start getting paid to do things. Last time you asked to get paid, you lost some friends. 
Why don't you keep the pang away from our friendships, okay? Oh, man. Hey, can you guys look at the private chat? I did. Okay. So if we do... Uh... If we do do it, we'll do it at that time. If we don't do it, then... I might be a little earlier. Yeah, we'll figure it out. A five minute little spruce up job. Look, look at that. Five minute spruce up job. All right, so far we got three bobbleheads Stanley Cup. Oh, is, this another, is this another box? Nah, this is the box I'm sending out. Oh, three hockey pucks. Now, see what see on these, they're like a brown, but see what happens. See when that that happens right there. It's not that the leather's bad, it's just it just scuffed up. But to hide that, to hide this right here. With just regular polish and all that stuff, you got to strip down the entire thing and then redo it. We ain't now. Listen, when you're when you're buying these cheap though, again, yes, you can strip it all down and redo it, but that's gonna be a whole more. That's gonna be a longer, longer process than just hey, we're gonna we're just gonna go right over it with the leather dye. So what what I did was these have already been like cleaned and then also like a light acetone on top just to sh strip away like the sheen. And so stuff the box. So this is going to take, this, this one's going to take about probably a couple of coats, probably like probably three, three light coats. So when I say coats, the first one goes on, you cover the whole thing, you let it dry, and then you go on with a second, a second lighter coat. And then if you need a third, you just hit certain spots. So a lot of times, like the heel and like inside here will kind of get a little bit light. So oh man. Are you guys going to national, Brandon? To who? I've never, I've never done anything like that. I don't know if these guys have or not. I, I haven't. Eric tried doing that, but it didn't work out in his favor. What was yeah. it? Shipping something that needed freight. Yeah, I tried to use ship, and it was a ship, utter yeah. failure. Utter failure. But wasn't you ship it was because they didn't go out your way though? What happened was the guy I agreed and we had an agreement. Okay. And then the guy was like basically had the one that was closest to me filled his his vehicle, his trailer. So he's like basically like tough luck, uh can't do it. Oh wow. Yeah. So then I tried to get somebody else. And so, like, I had to get, I had, I had charged six hundred dollars for shipping on that item, and that was the freight quote that I had a little less, like it was like four fifty. So the guy asked for six hundred, and uh, so I agreed to six hundred, but I had to go meet him, 
and then it just never panned out. Like uh, I couldn't do it, so I ended up having a refund. It, that you talk about something that sucks. Like I did, I had a refund like seventeen hundred bucks to the buyer for that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's tough, man. Like where I live, because it's so far from. I mean, like basically, we're three and a half hours to the interstate to ninety five, but or two and a half hours. So. But we're not near a, a big uh, big area that people would come to ship. So, and that was going west coast. It was going to Denver. So, oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, it was brutal. So, I mean, my suggestion is, if you're going to ship freight, like I know Justin has done it numerous times. I don't know if he's still in the chat, but there's he had some kind of store that you can go to, and they'll they'll actually do it, but. Freight is expensive. Yeah. That's what I would just say. Just just understand how you need to do it first before you even do the listing. Yeah. Yeah, you can list it as freight and then you charge them the freight afterwards, but like it's finding it, like making sure you've got shippers that like you can trust because otherwise you'll be in a situation like me. It's easier when I can just ship people stuff like this. Just create the label. I won't ship anything that I can't fit inside of one of my totes. I try not to ship anything bigger than that. I mean, I've shipped some bigger items, but not like... I mean, I know so I've not shipped snowboards on stuff before. Yeah, I've done snowboards. I've, I've done like 70-pound uh, pieces. Yeah. But Oh, UPS. All right. So this is the first coat. You can still see it's a little brown. That's okay. It just darkens it up a bit. You can see how these two like that. All right. Now right. your, uh, your hurricane stuff is headed your way, buddy. Poly bags for the win. Yep. yep. Yes. That's Bro, yeah, just, just throw that big old couch sofa in the, into a poly bag. Or send them some popcorn in a poly bag. Vintage shoe shine, shoe shine kit has four tins of old polish. I'm going to clean the tins out before I sell them. Do you want? You know, save the polish <laughs> no, you do not need to save the polish for me. I can, I can, I, the, yeah. The, thank you for the offer, but the, yeah. yeah. I'm to that. Your bag. There you go. Dude, I, I used to ship uh, golf bags in the contractor bag all the time. Wrap them with the film. Cover them with a trash bag. Ready to go. I shipped a 140-pound anvil through UPS. Wow. You should have shipped that to me. Did you use a poly bag? <laughs> when I get big, big stuff, my best thing, my favorite thing to use is um, is uh, moving, moving quilts. My buddy does storage units, so he gets tons of moving quilts. So every once in a while, I'll buy 10 off of them for a dollar each. And whenever I do big, big things like that, I'll wrap the whole thing in moving quotes. Leroy, when you first started talking, like the internet sped up for me and you're like talking super fast for a second. <laughs> I was like, whoa. 
years ago when us went from 75 pounds to max of 10 it almost killed me on the usps store all the backyard mechanics started shipping to me aspirin and back liniment all the time yeah Kid says Harbor Freight sells those cheap as well. Shipping yeah. costs. I, I got this new little gig at the flea market. A <laughs> couple of my buddies, and one of them might be listening. He sells, uh, he gets storage units. And there's another couple of people that sell at the flea market. And these guys get totes all the time. So I'll buy the totes or get the totes for free off my buddies. And then there's other people down there that need totes. So I just make a dollar a tote. And like, I'm just switching. There you go. I, Taking them from one side of the flea market to the other. But I told them, I said, go up there and talk to the flea market people. They'll take care of you. And they didn't want to do it. So I said, all right, yeah, I can get them for you. $2 a tote, no lids. There you go. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, one of my buddies, he doesn't know... Um, he doesn't he doesn't know how to leave messages, but I know he watches every week. He just this guy just bought twenty one storage units this weekend. Jeez. Yeah. Have I met this guy? No, you don't know him. Uh -oh. He's just he's just a uh, flea market. He does one twenty seven though. Does he do the flea market like your honey hole flea market? No, no. No, he does barnyard. Gotcha. Not the guy with the hats. I haven't seen him. I seen him a while ago, and he's like, hey, I remember you came with the guy from OBX. And I was like, oh, yeah, my buddy Eric. But I haven't seen him in a while. Ace, it's just FedEx. You can't hear the gospel music. Your FedEx plays gospel music? Oh my god, they, they go crazy. That's my kind of FedEx truck. Turn and burn. Well, guys, we have hit the 12 o'clock hour. Hopefully you guys got something done today. If not, you definitely uh, learned about um, Star Wars, the Tim version. So yes. uh, we uh, appreciate you guys like, coming and hanging out with us. Keep a lookout. We will be dropping some news this week at some point about the uh, one-stop shop. And we are looking, or at least we're talking about... Um, starting to do some more raid trains so if you want to be a part of that yes i will drop i i will give everybody a little sneak into something i'm going to ask these guys since it's Mar oh and also keep an eye out for march madness bracket information speaking of march madness i think we should do a uh hat madness raid train in honor of march madness and we'll get a bunch mm, that'd of people to cool. get that'd be kind of cool right yeah. and we'll just do hat madness like instead of march madness and we'll do an all day hat selling event and we'll plan it out we'll make like an ad for it and we'll post it everywhere like everybody like like real deal no last minute stupid stuff like we're gonna put in a real effort so when is this i don't know yet i'm just planting the seed during march madness i've got a bunch of ncaa hats like well it doesn't have to just be ncaa hats i'm just saying like you know Hat Madness instead of March Madness. Dude, Carrie is drying right now, dude. Oh, we got it. Carrie is no, going no. through it, bro. They are just stealing his content. It is crazy. On TikTok? On Instagram. Really? They're literally just taking his shorts and then reposting them on their own pages. There you go. Anybody else got anything going on? I think that's the announcements for the Boots. day. Please <laughs> don't sell, sir. Not how many times we got to tell you, man. I've got, I've got. Look, look, look. I've got back behind me. I've got. Oh, you can't see it. 
If you would listen to the eBay King, he would tell you that boots don't sell, bro. I got two pairs of boots here, and then these, and then I got so I got five pairs. We're ready to get. Man, you're ready for a small uh, cohort of Star Wars Stormtroopers. Yes, yes, like, yes. Yes, yeah, Swamp Picker, if you want to be a part of the train, bro, Fix these up. get on in, one-stop shop. Come on by. Apply to sell. Yep, yep. Sounds good. All right, we'll see you guys. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Sounds good.